Hey yo, what's good everybody, especially my fellow savages. Welcome back or to my channel. It's your boy Self Aware Savage and here on my channel, I talk everything self-awareness, okay? So if you landed on my page because it's something you've been looking to improve, make sure you go check out the video highlighted on my page, the ultimate guide to self-awareness, where I cover the three levels you'll need to increase your mentality to operate at optimum efficiency so that one day you can reach your best self, all right? Now, with that being said, for today's video, we're gonna talk about what life looks like for a man after 30, okay? Because I know how it is. When you're moving through them 20s and you start seeing that 30 and before you cross that threshold, you start wondering to yourself, man, I might be washed, you feel me? And so, wow, it's impossible for me to cover every little thing. I am gonna help set some expectations for when y'all cross over this threshold on what your life could potentially look like and how your mentality is gonna be. So one of the first things we're gonna talk about is your physical shape, okay? Now, we all know as you get older, your, your metabolism starts to slow down and you start to lose muscle mass. These are just facts, okay? But if you were taking care of yourself in your 20s leading up to your 30s and you're already in shape, once you cross over, you are good. You, honestly, you'll probably continually take your body to the next level. I mean, that is what has happened with me is I'm now stronger than I've ever been and my body is tighter than it's ever been before, especially in my 20s, okay? Now, if you were not taking care of yourself, no worries, no issues, but when you do cross over that threshold, it is gonna be a little bit tougher to get that engine revved up, but once you do, you can definitely take your body to peak shape as well, okay? So just from a physical standpoint, you won't be washed, all right? Now, something you will be washed on. If you've been turning up two, three, four times a week, there ain't no way you're gonna be able to keep that up. Man, the recovery time, it go from a day to like a week, I feel like sometimes, all right, honestly, probably like three days, you know what I'm saying? But that's a lot of time that you be losing as a grown ass man sitting around like trying to recover from drinks, you feel me? So you, you start to see how you just naturally be like, man, I ain't even trying to be doing this no more. Like right now, I actually only drink like once every three or four months because of that, because I'd be like, yo, I am not trying to be like laid around for a couple days. So that's something that is gonna change, you feel me? So there's kind of the physical component of things. The second thing that's gonna take a big shift is your mentality, okay? The reason why is because once you cross over that threshold of 30, you realize your mortality rate. Now, you are not about to kick the bucket, okay? Yes, I think 80 is like the time frame where you should be. I mean, people do live past that, but you know, if we're just going on an average, so you still got another 50 years. But what I mean by that is, where are you at? in your goals to become successful for whatever that looks like for you. A lot of us spend our 20s chasing women and turning up, okay? So then once you cross that threshold, you find yourself sitting back like, yo, I ain't got six months of savings. I'm not in my career. Like I'm, I, I'm not living how I wanna live and all those little things. And so something that is gonna happen is you're gonna recognize that and most likely you're gonna lock in to be able to make your dreams happen, which is why, like, when you meet a lot of men that have crossed 30 plus, they start hitting that success rate around 35 to 40 because of the point that they was like, they cut all the nonsense out and just zoned in as soon as they cross that threshold because you don't wanna be 40, 50 years old and you haven't set up anything for yourself in the long run, right? Because then you might also start thinking about family and stuff like that, and so, that is something that I know was a big shift for me, was being like, yo, I ain't did nothing to set me up for the life I want. I actually made my switch at 29, funny enough, and I just been locked in since then. But with that being said, another thing that's gonna weigh on you are opportunities that you missed out on, and not even in a bad way. It's just this reality check that, look, you ain't going to the NBA no more at 36, okay? Um, you aren't able, if you're gonna be like an actor, you ain't playing in no more of those teen dramas at 40. It, these are just facts, right? And I, it kind of annoys me sometimes when people are like, no, you can always make your dream life happen. You can always do these things. Listen, when you are not locked in and focused, you miss out on opportunities. You have to be able to sit back and acknowledge that to be able to help your life grow, okay? This is just one of the facts that we have to do. And another thing that just happens is that 
once you cross that threshold, people are less likely to help you because they see you as competition and not as a mentee that they can bring up. You know what I mean? So if you don't already like have a mentor, it's not that you can't get one, it's much more difficult to do it because everyone's looking at you as competition or that you're gonna take their spot. And so now you need to build up something on your own so that when you're coming to the table to these people who can help and assist you, and then they'll be more like, like oh, okay, I see you already work here. Oh, I see you already built this. Yes, of course, I can pull you in because yes, I'm helping you, but it's not the same as you're like a mentee and I'm literally giving you a piece of my pie like right off the back. And you'll start to understand that more once you cross that threshold, but I just think that's super important. Another thing with mentality is I would say your boundaries are gonna increase a lot um, just because you're gonna have to weigh out what it takes for you to be successful versus what it takes for you to entertain other people. And you'll, and you'll find that balance for yourself, but those are just some things that's gonna switch mentally for you, right? For the third thing that kind of balances with the boundaries portion is you are not going to be as spontaneous. In my 20s, you could have called me. It is like four o'clock, I think, right now. You could have called me and been like, yo, it's a party at six, bro. Get dressed, turn up. You know what I mean? And I would have most likely got dressed to get there. That is not happening now, right? I already have an articulated plan out for this evening that I have for myself. And it's these are just the facts. If you want to get on my calendar, to hang out then we need to plan it and it's not and, and it's not a bad thing right like i got friends who when i'm about to link up when i'm about to meet we already have we already booked out like a month in advance like i actually already know my skill like tomorrow i'm hanging out with one friend and then at like three o'clock and then on monday i got another friend to ask could they hang out around like five o'clock these things are already planned no one is calling me out of nowhere to just do something random. And people will even start to respect it and understand it, especially when you locked in, because they get, you are busy. You have things you are trying to achieve and do. And so that's something else that's gonna change uh, is that you're just not gonna be as spontaneous. And so the sooner you start using that structure now to just schedule things and plan things and put things in place, man, the quicker things will get better for you. The fourth thing is gonna be friendships, okay? You are going to value the friends you have so much more. And the reason being is because something you're gonna notice the older you get, it is much more difficult to make friends. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's just more difficult. And the reason why that is, is because everyone just has so much going on, right? And so meeting a person when they really didn't have any obligations, it was much easier for y'all to connect and get close. But when you start meeting people that have a bunch of obligations and things they need to complete, they may not have that same free time as you had back then in your 20s to get to know you on a deep level right away, okay? Like, I mean, imagine it's meeting me, right? We could kick it off and we could be cool, but at the end of the day, I got all these other things that I'm working on. And so you may see me once every two, three weeks, right? I'm not about to be texting you every day or calling you every day. And these are just, unless it's about a business, then we'll become closer in that sense. So I will say that, okay, with that being said, if the friendship is about business, then it can be tailored quicker. But if we're just talking about being cool and just hanging out as like homies, that's gonna be super difficult once you pass that uh, 30 threshold, just because you got so many other obligations. So something I would definitely tell everyone right now is to cherish your friendships you have and then try to meet and expand it as much as you can, especially if you're early 20s. And if you're after, if you're in that threshold of where I'm at now, then I would just say, just be understanding of people's circumstances and then see if you like want, if you're like, yo, I'm struggling to get friends, like see how you can tailor your conversations to a business sense with someone else who's looking to build something maybe similar to you. And that, but but friendships, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a big change. This is a quick one, but your dress game. All right, I wear pretty athletic clothes or pretty much chill-ish most of the time, like chill, fly-ish. But man, I got that casual game on deck now. You feel me? Like I got the dress shoes, I got a couple suits. You know what I mean? I got the blazers, I got the dress pants. Like something you do wanna do is be able to dress like a grown man and be able to keep it chill. You wanna be able to switch it up, right? Because it is something about dressing like a grown man that listen, people just treat you differently. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like when I throw on a suit and I go places, it's just how society works. People definitely look like, man, this person's about business and I, and I wanna get to know them. And so something that you should definitely do now start getting yourself a couple little pieces you know what i mean the sooner you start doing it like the better your fits is going to come together once you cross that threshold all right so definitely that's one part of your dress game you're going to switch up is like you're going to start getting some casual fits on deck and for my last topic you have dating okay now this is the one i think is going to shock people the most oh this is also based on your circumstances as well i will currently use mines i don't have any kids and I don't have any pets, okay? So when I am not focused on myself, 
I am free to like do as I wish. You know what I mean? And so with that being said, yo, the range of people who be interested is crazy. I never expected women, if I'm talking to somebody and they're like 21, and I'm like, oh, well, you're only 21. And they're like, oh, no, I love a grown man. I love this and this and this. And you be like shocked that even younger women are still interested in you even after you cross 30. And so you'll find yourself dating from about 21 to like 28. This is just the facts of what ends up happening. Now, with that being said, I know people are like, well, wait, why wouldn't you date older women? Why wouldn't you do this? In my own experience, what I have noticed is in life, you gain more experiences and you gain more obligations over time and things that and your expectations increase. When I've tried to talk to older women, which I think and a lot of times are equally as attractive as younger women, I feel like the expectation for what they want from me is so high from the beginning that it makes it difficult to even connect with them. Like one person I remember uh, I was trying to talk to, she was like, oh yeah, for us to even, I'm talking about even once we get past the just dating point of just going out, she was like, yeah, every single time we hang out, like it's got to feel like a date. And I'm just like, every single time, good God. They was just like, yeah, I got to just feel like I'm being courted like all the time. And this, this, this. And then you can meet someone's younger who y'all go out on a couple of fun dates. Like their expectations aren't as crazy. So it's like you go, you can, and, and that's what you're treating them good still. It's like you can go out on a couple of dates, but you can just have some chill time to just kick it and like, that to me is really important because if you always have to spend money to hang out with someone then it's not even fun anymore right and so that is what i actually think is the reason why like older guys go for younger women it's just that the expectations aren't as high yet and a lot of times if you're like in my situation you aren't thinking about kids yet right like someone around 24 isn't thinking about kids at this exact moment it's not of course people at 24 have kids but like someone at 34 35 if they don't have any they're thinking about them sooner and i mean that happened with me in one relationship as well where we were talking for like six months. Things were going really good. We never even talked about kids. And then she was just like, so when did you want to have kids? And I'm just like, oh, I, I wasn't even thinking about that right now. Like I'm thinking about focusing on this, this and this. And she was like, oh, well, if you aren't trying to have kids in like the next six months, then I already had a plan to go get a donor, do the insemination and all these other things. And so naturally we just stopped talking because I was like, oh, well you already had this all planned out for yourself from even when you, before you met me and it hasn't changed since you met me. So it's just like we've wa we wasted our time. You know what I'm saying? And so I would just say dating is going to be interesting once you cross that threshold, just because it's just going to depend on the circumstances of the people you run into. Okay. So. Man, I hope y'all really enjoyed that video. Something else I really just want, want you to take away from this is like your best life is in front of you and not behind you. And so just always remember that too as well. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe button. Comment your thoughts below. Are you below 30? And right now, you know, you took something from this video, you definitely gonna remember. Are you above 30? And you understand any of those things I was talking about or maybe add some other points in from your end to be able to help out our younger generation. And with that being said, I'll see y'all at the top.